article begins with, "You're watching an old movie with your friend." How old is the movie? Good question. Let's find out. The article says it's set in Ireland during the 1940s, and you notice something strange keeps happening. So the setting of this movie,、mm-hmm. 这部电影的时空背景设定在一九四零年代的 Ireland, 爱尔兰。当我们在讨论一部电影、影集或是故事所设定的时空背景时，我们可以说 the movie, the show, or the story it's set in. 后面加上地点和年代。Okay, so we know Ireland is in Europe. Okay, but what's the strange thing that keeps happening in the movie? The article says. In early morning scenes, men and women approach houses and apartments with sticks. So early morning, you mean five or six a.m. Probably. I think so. But what are they doing with these sticks? Yeah, why、They're、are they doing this? They're just out at five in the morning with these big sticks. That seems really strange to me. Well, the article says, what are these people going to use them? Or the sticks for though. I assume you have some choices for us to think about. I sure do. Let's look at answer A. It says to beat people up. Now here we see the phrase "beat someone up." This phrase means to hurt someone badly by hitting or kicking them. Not a very nice thing to do, right?、Mm-hmm. Another example could be Nick ran away from the bully before the boy could beat him up. Beat is 打的动作 to beat somebody up, 将某人痛打一顿。有的时候呢，我们会听到人家说 I'm beat up. 这个人真的也许是被痛打了，或者是呢，他感到非常的疲倦。如果一天从早上工作到晚上，回到家很疲累的，我们可以说 ，After a long day's work, I'm so beat up. 我累坏了。Okay, now I hope that's not the answer. Let's see if answer B is any nicer. It says to wake people up. Oh, 叫醒别人。That is nicer, but I don't understand how they are going to wake up people with sticks. Well, maybe they'll just hit them. I don't know. Still, <laughs> all right. So what's answer C? It says to break into apartments. Here's another not so nice answer. The <laughs> phrase "break into" means to force your way into a building, usually to steal something or hurt someone. Another example could be. The police caught the thief two days after he broke into my apartment. Break into, 闯入 So, what do you think, Erin? Which one is the right answer? I just don't know which answer it could be. I guess I'm gonna have to say B because it's the nicest one. Well, let's think about it.、Mm-hmm. It's either to beat people up, okay, to wake people up,、mm-hmm. or to Break into someone's apartment. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna choose the one where people don't get hurt. Me too. But are we right? Well, the article says you're correct if you chose B. Who? <laughs> okay. So, how are they waking people up with sticks? The article says before the alarm clock was invented,、mm-hmm. workers called knocker uppers. Used to be paid a low wage to wake people up. Oh, so it means that the alarm clock was not invented in 1970s. Or the 1870s, something 1870s. like that. 1870s.、Mm-hmm. That was why the people in the movie still use sticks、mm-hmm. to wake others up. Right. And these people are called. Knocker uppers. No, I love this name. The first time I saw this name, I just laughed. <laughs> Knocker uppers. It's such a funny name. I think I'll just call my alarm clock. A knocker upper from now on. People might look at you funny. Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, how did they wake people up with sticks? Okay, let's find out. What do these knocker uppers do? The article says to do this, they would tap on sleeping residents' windows with sticks. Oh. Okay. Now we saw our first vocabulary word in that sentence. The verb tap. It's easy to spell. T A P. Tap. To tap something means to hit something lightly, boop, boop. usually with your fingers. 
but here they do it with sticks. Another example, I tapped on the door's window to get the teacher's attention. Tap, tap, tap. So the knocker uppers mm -hmm. didn't tap on the sleeping people's no, shoulders. the windows. They tap on the windows. That's right. Tap is 动词，轻拍、轻敲。It is said that、mm -hmm. do not turn to look when you feel somebody tap on your shoulder in the woods, forests, or mountains at night. Do you know why? I don't, but I'm scared because that might be a ghost、okay. that is patting on your shoulder. Okay, good to know. <laughs> All right, so to tap on 后面加部位。代表的是轻拍某处 ，tap 的过去式和过去分词记得哦，重复字尾 p 再加 e d， 我们念作 tapped。Okay, now we also saw the noun resident. A resident is a person who lives somewhere, isn't it? Right.、Mm -hmm. Resident 一个地方的居民。For example, I am a resident of Taiwan. Oh, 我是台湾的居民。在这边跟同学们补充哦。名词还有一个字呢，叫做 residence， 它是住所、定居的意思。For example, the president's official residence、mm -hmm. 代表就是总统的官邸。Or we can say she got a permanent residence permit. 她拿到了永久居留许可。Okay, so let's find out what the knocker upper sticks looked like. It says the sticks looked similar to fishing poles. So we've got this noun pole. It's, it's spelled P O L E pole, and it's a long stick, usually made of wood or metal, and it's usually used to support something up in the air. Now a fishing pole is usually wider at the bottom and thinner at the top. So you can stand it up or put it against a wall.、Mm -hmm. Another example: the students raised the flag to the top of the pole. Pole, 柱子，杆子。The sticks the article is talking about looked like fishing poles.、Mm -hmm. 也就是跟钓鱼竿很像。We can also say they looked similar to fishing rods. That's right. What about the phrase "looked similar to"? 首先我们要看到 "similar" 这个字啊，它是相似的。A look similar to B. A 和 B 看起来相似。I look similar to my sister. Okay. 我看起来和我的姐姐相似。Or my sister and I look similar. Okay. Now the article tells us more about the knocker uppers poles. It says they were light and long, so that a knocker upper could reach even the highest windows. I guess they would hold the poles up in the air and just lightly hit the window. I guess so. Now, I think it would have to. I would have to look it up, maybe in a video or in one of those old movies, so I could see what it looks like to really know. But let's get back to the article. It says their taps to to would be soft enough not to wake unappreciative neighbors. Enough. 或我们可以念作 enough， 它是足够的意思。前面放一个 be 动词，再加上形容词，以及 enough 后面接 not to， 最后再加上原形动词，代表的是啊，够如何，以至于不会发生接下来的事情。Their taps would be soft enough not to wake up an appreciative neighbors. 他们轻拍的动作会。够轻到不会吵起，不感激他们的邻居。再造一个简单的句子给同学哦。The table is small enough not to take up too much room in the living room. 桌子小到不会占据客厅里太多的空间。Okay, so we also saw this really hard to word, hard word to say in there. It's unappreciative. It's long. It's hard to spell. It's even hard to say. I know that adding the letters u n At the front of it,、mm -hmm. though, means not or the opposite of something. So, what is the opposite of appreciative? Unappreciative. What does it mean, Elsie? 好，我们首先要先看到 appreciate 这个动词， mm -hmm. 它是感激的意思。I appreciate all that you've done for me. 我感激你为我所做的一切。那么，把变形容词 appreciative，、mm -hmm. 它就是感激的。Be appreciative. Of something, 对某事觉得感激 
I'm appreciative of all your support. Right. 我对你所有的支持觉得感激。那我们再把自首加上 un， 它代表就是相反字，不觉得感激的。Even though the knocker uppers helped wake their neighbors up, the neighbors were unappreciative. Only if they did it loudly, <laughs> but if they did the the soft tap, toot toot, they wake up these people, and the other people are not unappreciative because they're not wake. They're right. not awake. <laughs> All right. So the noise in the window is not loud enough to wake up the neighbors. Then the article says, however, they'd still be loud enough to interrupt the receivers. Dreams and get them out of bed. The receiver here is the person sleeping、mm -hmm. who wants the knocker-uppers to knock. 刚才我们说到呢，形容词、be 动词加上形容词以及 enough, not to 原形动词，代表的是够如何以至不会的这个句型。现在将句中的否定字 not 拿掉 ，be adjective 后面再加 enough to 原形动词，够如何以至于后面的动作发生了。Knocker uppers were still loud enough to wake them up.、Mm -hmm. 够大声到能够吵起他们。一样造一个简单的例句给同学哦。The car is big enough to carry all the luggage they have. 车子大到能够携带他们所有的行李。All right. What about the word interrupt? Okay. Well, we see this verb interrupt. It's spelled I N T E R R U P T. Interrupt. And it means to stop someone from doing what they are doing, or by making maybe a small noise <clears throat> or gesture with your hands. For example, don't interrupt me when I'm studying, please. I need to focus. Interrupt, 打断，短暂终止。Don't interrupt me when I'm sleeping. 不要打断我睡觉 I bet nobody likes their sleep to be interrupted, including the people that were woken up by the knocker uppers. Unless it is your alarm clock and you have to get up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this didn't just happen in Ireland, though. The article says this practice was once common in both Ireland and England, and was usually seen in the nation's larger cities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little bit more information here about the knocker uppers. Yeah. The article continues to say, this practice, typically carried out by an area's older locals, likely began during the Industrial Revolution in the 1700s. Now here we see the adverb typically. It's spelled T Y P I C A L L Y. Typically, and it means that something is done in a way that usually happens. For example, I typically get up at 8 a.m., but sometimes I sleep in until 8:30 a.m. Typically, 它是一个副词，代表是典型的或者是通常的。那如果我们把字尾 ly 拿掉，我们看到 typical 这个形容词，典型的、平常的。那我们还有一个说法，听听看老师的造句。It is very typical of my brother to come home late. Oh, okay. 代表的是呢，我的弟弟晚回家这件事情是很平常的，是意料所及的。但这个时候通常是负面的事情。Okay. Well, next we saw the phrase "carry out," which means to do something you said you would do. For example, I promised to carry out these chores before I played video games. So I guess I should do them now. Carry 这个字呢，本身是携带的动作。Carry out 代表的是执行。I was told I need to carry out the plan. 我被告知我要执行这项计划。Okay. So older people were usually knocker uppers, and this goes back a long way, all the way back to the Industrial Revolution, in fact. Now here, revolution is a noun, and it's spelled R E V O L U T I O N. Revolution. It means a change in the way people think or do something. For example, 
a revolution in technology occurred when computers were invented. Way back in the 1700s, we saw the Industrial Revolution when machines started to be invented. Revolution, 改革革命 A revolution in 后面加一个领域，代表的是那个领域当中的改革跟革命。就像是我们的例句说到 ，a revolution in technology，、mm-hmm. 科技界的改革革命。那么呢，我们还听到 the industrial revolution， 就是我们熟知的工业革命。Okay， so how long did knocker uppers last？ The answer may surprise you. The article says. In some areas, it continued until the 1970s, before knocker uppers were replaced with alarm clocks. Okay, now the verb replace here is spelled R E P L A C E, replace, and it means to get rid of one thing and start using another thing instead. For example, I replaced the flat tire on my bicycle with a new one. Replace, 替换代替 To replace A with somebody or something, 用某人替代 A， 或者是用某物替代 A. 介系词记得我们用的是 W I T H with. Tom's boss replaced him with the new workers in the company. 这边替代就是人哦。Oh. Tom 的老板用新员工代替 Tom. Oh, poor Tom. Okay, well, that's all the time we've got for our fun facts article about knocker uppers. Let's finish up with our for you chat question, though, which is coming up next.